Okay, welcome everybody to some more of our Telltales of Walking Dead, another midweek stream, and today we are doing the 400 Days DLC. So we finished the main story on the last stream, and that was a rough one to get through, not gonna lie. That's always, I, I've played through it a couple of times before, and it doesn't get any easier, trust me, whenever you see uh, the ending of that, uh, what happens with Lee and... Clementine and everything like I said that that doesn't get any easier no matter how many times you play it <laughs> but We are here with the uh, DLC today This is 400 days and it doesn't really I Don't know how to describe it. It doesn't necessarily tie into season one per se Like it's not going it doesn't continue with Lee or Clementine, but it does tie into season two which we'll be tackling this weekend. So, let's jump into that. Okay, not sure why it's making me adjust my settings, but... Anyway, yeah, to my point though, uh, this ties in more with Season 2 than it does with Season 1. But it kind of serves like a good little... Uh, I guess you would say like a, an appetizer, so to speak. Something to hold you over until Season 2 came out. But, yeah, Season 1 I think was really good. Uh, I, I do love the story. Even if the gameplay could be a little bit clunky at times, the story for Season 1 is amazing. And that ending is definitely it hits you right in the feels. Doesn't matter how many times you play it, it's just every time it, it, it's rough to get through. But... 400 days. This is a uh, fun DLC. I played it before as well, but this has been a while since I have played it, so bear with me here if I miss anything or screw something up. Keep an eye on this place. This place will be very important throughout these uh, episodes. We'll be going along, I believe it's five characters and their stories. So keep an eye on this uh, location in particular because it's going to be very important to the uh, storyline. Look at all the missing people bulletins. The bad thing is, too, they're uh, probably walkers by now. And here are our characters. So, we have Vince, Shell, Bonnie, Russell, and Wyatt. Now, if I remember correctly, so these are our five ones, so I'm trying to remember the order. If I remember correctly, this is the first one I should do. This, I think, is the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth, I think. Or it might be one, two, three, four. Regardless, I'm pretty sure this is the first, and then this is the fifth. It doesn't matter what order you play them in, but uh, you should probably play them in like a specific order, and you'll see why here. Assuming I didn't screw this up, this is what I was talking about. Hopefully, I don't screw things up. <laughs> We're gonna start with Vince's story because I'm 99% sure his starts at the uh, beginning. I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. I don't even I don't even know your brother. Oh. Hmm. 
There's our character, Vince. There's that drugstore in the background. Remember that from season one? It's a making man. Shit. Oh, sirens. You know what? Throw it in the trash. Maybe not the best place to put it, but, uh... And, and look at that. It's just like the start of season one. On our way to prison. Two days in. Come on, man. Don't listen to this crap anymore. Two hours. Think it'll clear up some? He could have been, uh... Meeting Lee, if both would have made it to the uh, the prison. <laughs> gonna get rid of this. Traffic oh, still backed up for miles. It's not your fault. Never thought I'd want to get to prison. What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince. Justin's gonna make me. Hold up, I want to turn the subtitles on. I like to do that just uh, in case I miss anything when they're talking. It's too hot for this shit. Viz, I'm making him hot now. Yeah, Danny, you're making me hot. Settle down, assholes. He started it. Hey, man, how about you open a fucking window? It's a prison bus, asshole. The window. Hey, don't Justin, open. see that right, guy man. in the beat up this truck? Right. I bet Shut he lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house. Life savings. Shit, I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she? 15? Damn it, it ain't like that. You telling me there wasn't a star witness waiting around in your white van? I'm shocked. We're all in the same boat here. What's the point of arguing? The point is, I'm not like that. Yeah, sure you're not. You work, guys. I ain't afraid to say it. I'm really missing my girlfriend right now. I'm guessing she's pretty pissed at you. Yeah, I'd say so. She won't talk to me. I haven't heard her voice in months. She's really messing with me, like for real. Just let it go, man. I want to, but you know, I love her, man. You should call her up when we get there. You gotta face that shit. You know, you're right, man. First call I get. Danny, I know you don't realize this because you're you, but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from <laughs> white collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? <laughs> that shut him up real quick. All right, these guys seem to be having their own issue over here. I thought you took the stand and cried your eyes out. I'm telling you again. Didn't you lose your shit and tell them you didn't know what you were doing? I lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? No, nah, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. I gotta admit, I'd say anything to get out of doing more time. You guys are messed up. Says the criminal. <laughs> you wanna know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, uh... A pyramid scheme. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall How Street! How much did you make off with, anyway? <laughs> Enough. So, like... I had to uh, join in the fun there. Couldn't be the only one, you know. Million. God damn. damn, boy. Oh, when we get out of here, you, me, and Vince, we gotta go into business. Know what I'm saying? You know, I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I helped my little brother. They send you to prison for that now? He was in trouble. I had to help him out. I knew it was something stupid. You regret it, man? If you're saying what I think you are, I got respect for you, man. I don't regret it at all. Sometimes, you gotta do the hard thing. Yeah, I know what you mean. How'd they get you? 
threw the gun in the trash. And? Some stupid dog knocked the can over the next day. Kid found it and turned it in. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Man, you're bad luck, Vince. Bad luck, Vince. <laughs> That's not bad. That is some pretty bad luck right there. What the fuck are you gonna do about fuck you? Fuck me. <laughs> Imagine you thinking you got away with it, throwing it in the trash, and then a random dog knocks it over, and someone fire! Oh god! Hey, um, you might want to break that up. Get in there, man! Sit down, goddammit! They just need to work it out. They're doing more than working it out. Damn it, Crabtree! Don't make me come back there He's gonna kill him, Vince! Let the guard. The two idiots up in the front better uh solve this. Yeah, I was gonna say, Danny, we don't need, we're not involved in this. Let let the guards do it. Where's your empathy, man? Can't do anything with these damn chains on. Shit. Crabtree, I'm warning you one last time. You gotta get in there. This dude seems like a bitch right now. It's like get in there. Break it up. Why is he pointing a gun at him right away? Crabtree? Last what are you warning! For? Don't just say let him it. go, goddammit! Holy shit! What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? He just blew that dude's head off. God damn it, boy. Answer damn. me back that there. That guy's still alive. Get those cuffs off him, man. Stupid. Like, why didn't he try to separate them? Why did he just shoot the dude right away? What was that? He made a move on me. I, I, I don't know. This is crazy. Nobody had to die. This is what happens when you give guns to assholes. <laughs> really? Fucking fuck. You gotta call someone, man. What? I'm calling this in. Don't. Don't call it in yet. Just, just wait, okay? Just give me a damn minute. You killed that guy. You gotta deal with it, man. I just need a minute. I need a minute to think. You ain't got a minute. Shut up, you hear me? Just shut your mouth! Oh, God, you're gonna shoot us now, too? Okay, okay, calm down. Take it easy. I'll quit waving that thing around before you get someone else killed. Oh, you gonna get smart with me now? Vince! It's okay. Just back off. We all need to take it down a notch. God, now I think he's gonna shoot him. Oh, no. You really wanna pull that trigger again, son? I don't know, he, he might do it again. Thanks, man. What the fuck? What is going on out here? Oh! People are getting eaten. I forgot, I said it's two days in, so these guys probably don't know about it yet. Yeah. Hey, you gotta get us the hell out of here. You're not going anywhere! Fuck that! No wonder he needs to drive the bus. Hey, like, why is it just sitting here? Oh! That dude must have died when he was getting choked with the uh, handcuffs. You need to call someone. You hear me? We need to. He's like, I don't get paid enough to deal with this bullshit. He just ran away. Back up! Back up! Fuck! 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 All right, this is not good. You sure about that? We're stuck on here with a uh, with a walker, and we're handcuffed. Come on, we gotta do something. We need to get off this bus. Okay, okay, man. But what's the plan? Where's the guard's gun? Yeah, yeah, the gun. Good thinking, Justin. Where the fuck is it? Should be on him still. Oh, of course. Oh, fuck me. I don't know how we're gonna get him. Over. Hopefully we can do all this without the dude getting free. Shoot this asshole, bitch! Do it. All right. Now at least that shot was justified. Oh, watch it, man. Sorry. Sorry. Man, I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? Now we gotta hurry before the other dude turns that got bitten. What are you doing? Can't do anything until we get out of these damn chains. Maybe he's got the keys on him. Nothing. Well, shit, if the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? 
The other guy probably has them. Oh no. Yeah, he's not a uh, friendly person. Oh god, they're gonna break that door down. There are way too many of them. Fire the fucking gun! Um... Oh god, they're still coming. Yeah, I was gonna say. Take out the windows! Whoa, whoa, watch it! Ain't gonna work! We gotta try! That didn't work either. Shit, man. We'll never get past those bars. How the hell are we gonna get out There's of here? There's gotta be a way. Can't we just shoot off the chains? No way. Wouldn't cut through. We just tried that. If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's foot? Well, what do you think is gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Someone's man, losing a foot. We gotta do this. Hold up, I'm not giving you the gun. Vince, what the fuck? Uh oh god, so we're gonna take oh, somebody's ankle fuck? out. Alright, well, this dude's closest to the front. We'll do it to him first. Sorry, dude. I'm sorry, man. Fuck you! Do it! Hurry! Justin's just gonna slow you down. Sorry, man. Do it again. Come on, let's go. Sorry, dude. I, I didn't want to do that, but... You were the closest to the front. It would have been awkward trying to step over the other dude. What's his name? Justin? I think it would have been awkward trying to step up and over him. Plus, he may have, like, tried to trip us or something. I don't know. And to me, Danny, he was up at the front. Just wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> I hate it for you, bro. I do. Didn't want to end it that way, but kind of had no choice. All right, now uh, I did a little research, and it looks like Wyatt is the second one to do. I want to do these in chronological order. Like I said, you can play them in any order you want, but I think it's best to do them in chronological order. Hopefully I'll illustrate why. <laughs> All right, now we take uh, control of Wyatt. God, this is so fucked! Why the hell did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us. Or Shit! Dude, help me catch up to us! Oh, they, they pissed somebody off. Hurry up, Eddie! Here, man, shoot! All right. Dude swerving all over. I can't get a good shot on him. All we're doing is wasting ammo. Hey, we did take out a headlight. Holy shit, man! Did you get him? Are they back there? Wyatt? Dude, are they there or not? Come on! Wyatt talked words at me, man. I don't see anything. Are you sure? Those guys wouldn't just give so up. I don't see anything. Here, here, I'll turn off. No, 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 don't go in the woods. I'd stay on the road. That dude veered off into the woods. Wyatt, you should have spoke up, you idiot. Look on me, man. 
I'm not being an asshole. I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. I can't see a damn thing out here. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense, Wyatt. God, I can't believe we're in this shit. Don't bark. Apparently his yet, name is okay? Eddie. Please, this road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He's fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in my life, Wyatt. What did you do to him? Dude, you are covered in that guy's blood. I know, Wyatt. My shirt is soaked. It's like, I just, why didn't they say anything? The guy's taking his shit over there. That's all they had to say. Did you mean to pull the trigger? I don't know. I was so keyed up, I just, damn it. Look, Wyatt, all I know is those guys had me all jacked up like I was on speed or something. I was just on edge, you know? Then I was like watching that guy's brains come out of the back of his head. Oh, God. I'm sorry, man. I. Well, thanks for getting us out anyway. Yeah, but that one dude's pissed. I don't think he's just going to give up. The thing is, by veering off into the woods... Let there he... be light, huh? Dude, shut up. Uh -uh. See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. Okay. I did not need to know that. You think we're in the clear? Not till we get out of this fog. Was that a pun? No. When did you start making puns? I said no, idiot. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. Tom Cruise out of here. <laughs> Why is it that you never had a girlfriend again? Oh, right. Forgot there was more than one reason. See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. see anything dude it's in there look harder I don't see it what I do see is that ammo that you lost last week oh my god really but is there any weed <laughs> now's not the time to be worried about the weed bro we got to get out of here you remember her? she told me that when she was five I think her dad took her to the circus sideshow they walked around for a while saw the chick with two heads saw a dude with lobster hands some kind of monkey human with a dick for a face. I don't know. What? She also said there was a little girl in there the size of an apple, but I called bullshit on that one. The point is, she saw there was this guy standing in there, buck naked, and singing this weird... Are you even listening to me? The guy peed on her dad. What? Shit! Oh! Oh, God, we just hit somebody. Holy shit, dude. I hope that was a walker, Holy not a person. Shit. Did you get a look? I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on, man, say something. Was that a dude or not? What the... The fucking fog. This night is so fucked, man. I, I, I don't know. It was too fast, man. Man, don't say that. You have to know. Dude, you have to. Why do I have to know? Let's see if there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll like tell us one way or the other. That way we can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. Oh, God. Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? Looks like some shirt. clothes. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh? Or Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's not it's really uh, reassuring. Seriously, you think some piece of that guy made it into the glove box? Man, I don't know. Man, I'm really not seeing anything. Stop messing around. 
We need to know what's going on, okay? That's not gonna help. Okay, okay. Jeez. Anything in the back seat? No. Okay. Wyatt. It was a guy. Now how would you know? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't take ecstasy with the prostitute, sure. <laughs> oh my god, so what how cheap is that? We, do? we go out there. What about the guys in the truck? Man, fuck those guys! If that guy back there is alive, we have to help him, Wyatt. There ain't a lot of live dudes left these days. What if this guy is like the guys in the truck? He ain't gonna be much of a threat after we bounced him off the hood. Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. Both of us? I mean, I don't know. Me? I hit the fucking guy. One of us should stay here, though, in case. Alright. <laughs> don't, okay. don't take ecstasy uh, with a prostitute shirt. Sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, it seems fair. Fine. Okay, cool. Good. This is good. We need to hurry up. You ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. I'm doing this shit. Dude, two seconds, it's over. Alright, two out of three, right? Sure. One, two, three, go. Shit. Alright, alright. Okay. Alright. One, two, three, go. Oh! Now the table's a turn. You always pick rock, dude. It's stupid. All right, dude. This is it. Shit. Here we go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Fuck. What are the chances of that? Okay. One, two, three, go. Oh! Guys, while your fingers are like that, huh? Scissors blow. <laughs> Looks like we won that one. All right, man, it's all on you. Good luck out there, bro. Did he take the gun? Yeah, it looks it. So. Okay. All right, I don't want to talk to him just yet because... All right. Here, in case we need to get out of here quick. He did not seriously just toss us the keys. Way to go, idiot. Hey, Wyatt, I ate paint when I was a kid. Die. <laughs> there you go. It's the smallest hoop to you. You know, these two would probably make a good uh, zombie stoner movie. Like, zombie uh, comedy stoner movie, these two. And he's upset about that. He loves this car. I feel like that would be pretty funny. I'm staying right here. I was just gonna open it, be courteous for if he needs to run back in here. Oh no! Shit! Oh, oh hell no! Come here, you bastard. He's trying to pull us out. No, we are not getting GTA'd. Oh crap! Now I wish we had a gun. Ah, son of a bitch. All right, I hate to leave you, dude, but this guy's gonna kill me if I don't. Maybe we can circle back and try and get Eddie, but this guy is probably gonna kill him. Yeah, we were about to get carjacked or shot or both. I'm pretty sure that dude is about to just kill us. So. I still think it was a good idea to stay. I feel bad that we left Eddie behind, but at the same time, 
he would have been coming back to his dead buddy and would have likely had to get in a shootout with that dude either way. So, I don't really see what else we could have done there. Alright, now, we, uh, try Russell's story out. Hundred and eighty four days in now, Russell. So, this is like I said, the order to play them in. Looks like Russell's journey has him out walking. Oh, the days of taking shortcuts. Not the ideal way to travel, but I'm sure. Hey, you getting up? Good. <laughs> Should probably hurry. Is that a vehicle coming? Alright, let's hide. Oh! Oh, no! That, if you remember season one, that's, uh, that's Carly. Remember, uh, Lily shot her. This is a spot in the road. And that truck looks I very familiar. I don't want no trouble. Please. You just want to be left alone with your friend down there? No, just leave me alone. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't. <laughs> What's your name? Do you think we're fucking a corpse? Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. Could have been the brand of the bag. You did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Because you steal from me and I'll get your throat out. I don't care who you run around with, you understand? I'm not in a gang. It's fucking racist, man. Hey, now, I ain't no racist. I just call them like I see them. Yeah, you know, sure. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise and I'm bored. Come on, scoot. I ain't gonna wait forever. Can you take me to Statesboro? I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she likes to party? Just get in, we'll get there. Or somewhere, eventually. I'm almost positive this is the dude Wyatt was shooting at, because I think it was missing a, a headlight, and plus he kind of looks way. like him. Thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... <laughs> here you go. Yeah, why not? Shit, ain't it? Hell of a kick, but it takes the edge off. I wouldn't make a comment about drinking and driving, but actually we're the only ones on the road from the looks of it, and uh Fine. You wanna tell me about where you come from at least? If we crash I mean at least it won't hurt anybody else. Maybe drop you off, do a double back. No, uh, tale. Damn. I retract my question. There was a girl who I liked, all right. The argument's semantics, Russ. Give a pal the deets. <laughs> all right. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They're all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy. Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number. 
so we didn't add nobody to the group. If we found survivors, it was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. For weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. Damn. The Steve it's guy sounded here. pretty rough. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. <laughs> Who would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rat? Wow. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I put it right in here. Sure, whatever. Sure, whatever? Come on. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. The hell? What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Oh God! Right? You think? Here, get a look. Fuck! Oh, you crazy nice. piece of shit! Maybe you got high standards. Oh, if you say five, I'm gonna flip. Five. Tell me, Russ. Five fucking five! Oh, come on, man! <laughs> okay, this guy is nuts. The only reason I said five there is I wanted to see if he would actually flip, but he didn't. The dude is nuts, though, from the looks of it. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's the dude who was having beef with Wyatt and uh, Eddie back there. I'm pretty sure it's him. But uh, yeah, this Nate dude definitely does not seem like a uh, kind of person you want to be riding with alone. And look what it is. It's that uh, road stop, gas station, whatever you want to call it from the beginning there. Don't be mad. Don't be mad, says the one who just rolled a window down when there was a walker nearby. Oh, what was that? Help. Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! You got bullets this time? Don't think about it. Just run. I'll keep his fucking head down. Oh! Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. You dick. All right. What are we going to do? First, we're going to figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. I mean, I, I don't want to have to ride with this dude, but... What the... The hell? I thought we were back down. Okay, that was weird. I don't really want to have to go with this dude, but at the same time, we're getting shot at, and he's like our only uh, option at the moment, so. Be stupid to. We don't really have much of a choice to be mad at him. Look how good you did. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm mad that he did that, but at the same time, we gotta work together here given we're shot at. Like, I'm mad he didn't cover us, but. Just get a quick glance. See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. Alright. Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Alright, seems easy enough. Shit! Just keep pushing! Oh Shit. no. Push! I'm pretty sure he just cut or blew our tires out. End of the road. What now? 
We're gonna get around the side of At the least road. on the passenger side. Go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. I'm not fucking around. Oh, you're actually gonna cover this time? You gonna cover me? If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you wanna go first, that's fine too. I'll go first. That a boy, Russ. All ass. Alright. I'm trusting you this time. Don't fuck with us. Alright, he actually seems to be helping this time. Right. I'm good. Heads up. As soon as you start shooting, I'm coming. Alright. We'll actually cover him this time, because he helped us. Now what? We can oh, we should not give him the gun back. Go. Oh wow, he actually saved us. Thanks. We're not done yet. That's shocking. We can get in around back. Sneak up on us. Follow me. All right. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home cooked meal, all right? Come on. Watch out for that. What's the problem? Does he know this person or something? Oh! That's the, uh. We should put it out of its misery. It's fucking dead. That looks like the, the cop that was on, uh. Russ, come on. Um, God, what's it called? The bus, the prison bus. That's the cop who uh, shot that dude's head off. Okay, it's clear. Put us in a shit situation. And follow me, you got it. That's the only reason why I didn't put him out of his misery. He put us in a bad situation in the first right. one. We're gonna be fucking quiet. First episode. We're gonna sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a fucking beep. Let's go. All right, so we're sneaking up on these people, okay? I see him. Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. All right, let's see what we we're finding here. Who's shooting at us? Looks like it's an old guy. I think I saw a guy. No shit. Grab him. I'll cover you. Why sneak up? Jump out, grab me. Your call. Is it just one dude that was firing at us? Do the quiet approach. <gasps> oh! Don't fucking move! Walt! Oh, it looks like she's been shot. Monsters. Whoa, Gramps. I told you not to come back here. Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook. Oh, whoa. Watch the fucking racism. This Hold up a minute. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit. That was unnecessary. To finish us off and take all our food. And I don't know what this idiot is talking about. She's dying and now she can see your face. We've never been here, sir. Then who shot my wife? Wasn't us. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please. Whoa, just get whoa, the whoa, fuck whoa. Out of here. Please leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Seriously? Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up. 
There are real fucking monsters out there. No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I see. Fuck you, Nate. I saved your ass. You didn't do shit. Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on. Can we still be friends? No. It's just because you saved us once. Oh! Well, we should have known better. Leaving him in there, he was going to kill those people. But at the same time, we had to leave there. I mean, that dude just basically uh, mocked what we told him. Oh, we're just going to kill, kill them and take their stuff. <laughs> All right, um, looks like the next one we should do should be Bonnie. Assuming this online guy that I've read is correct, which so far it's been. Yeah, that Nate dude, he was fucked. Like, like he mocked our stuff, like what we've been through. We told him, and he mocked that. And he clearly was the one who was after Wyatt and Eddie, so we definitely had to get away from him. Have a snake for a tongue, or lobster claws for hands. <laughs> Is this those dudes Eddie and them were talking about? Can I control this snake, or does it? Because remember, he was talking about like lobster hands, a snake for a head. Only he said it was like a dick for a head. And how exactly do you think harder? Good point. I'll think about that. Snake tongue. Gross. What? How is it more gross than lobster hands? Well, for one, it's in your mouth. Hey, <laughs> you asked the question, Haas. Okay. So I'm curious if Eddie and Wyatt, like, knew these people. You probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Because, oh, like I said, Eddie was talking about this shit, too. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. So, uh, oh. Admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. What I mean is, I mean, uh, you were, you were, uh, you know. Thanks, jerk. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Oh, to remind me how hideous I was. <laughs> Make sure you keep on keeping on. I mean it. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out oh. of the woods yet, I know, but well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. Well, thank you. You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, <laughs> you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? I know. God, Leland. Thank you. Bonnie. Uh... Leland? Bonnie? D. Hey, honey. Oh. This just got awkward. I found us something. What are you two up to? Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh. Uh... Uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters? Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. That ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. Thought you, didn't I? I wow. Am. I know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your uh, girlfriend, but uh, we gotta get moving. Does she think we? <laughs> well, I'm sure she suspects something. Oh, where'd you get the bag, D? 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 Did you hear me? What's in the bag, D? I told you it's a surprise. 
Hey, Dave, okay. when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but the D, that, that bat. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Found it? Place off that away. Damn it, D, you gotta give us more than that. Was anyone there? I don't think so. You don't think? Or you don't know. Those mean the same thing, Leland. Not necessarily. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. <laughs> All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go, every time. Calm down. And now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the we one We should get moving stopped. now, come on. But you are the dark. one who made me stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Attitude? You're gonna now draw every dead thing from miles around you keep on like this. Goddamn middle of nowhere you place. On you listen to me now. I have had it up to I here with listening to you. To blast. Shut up, D. Leave Leland alone. This ain't your business, Bonnie. This is between him and me. Enough, D. He's right. We're acting like a couple kids. That's just because you ain't listening. We gotta get moving. Hey, darling, I'm, I'm sorry we're... Darling! Uh-oh. Come on. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. <laughs> Yours, too. <laughs> the, now's not the time. What are you saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. Well, come on now, D. No reason to pick a fight. I'm sorry. You know, I know I watch a lot of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, but I can't help be like, Shut up, D! <laughs> it's just so fitting. Anybody who's named D just feel like saying, Shut up. We're calling him a bitch, you know? Stop going so fast! Oh! D pulling him along. I think we just got shot. Middle of the woods, it's pouring down rain. Got angry people after us. Probably the people whose bag she stole. Oh! God, this isn't gonna help. Well. D, you goddamn bitch. Gotta unleash my inner Dennis there on that one. <laughs> All you It's Always Sunny fans will know what I'm talking about. Everybody else probably like, this guy's crazy. Which that may be, but... Oh, it's the dude from the last episode! We should have killed him! Maybe he wouldn't have been crawling after us. Oh! Okay, uh, this isn't necessary. Hey, there's the prison bus, too. So this is why you should play it in chronological order. Obviously, you'll see things then that you may not have picked up on. Oh no. We gotta be careful now. I hear them. Oh! We about got to a lot of shit there. No you didn't. Oh God! Where are you? I don't know, but I'm not the one you're after. I think I see him over here. Leave me alone! You didn't see anything. It's dark. You just saw an animal moving. Okay, that person was quite. Oh crap! Oh crap! All right, we got this. We got this. Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. See ya. <laughs> Keep your voice down, Bonnie. Alright, well, we're 
injured. Okay. We don't know where Leland and D went. It looks like this is the only thing we can do, so we're going to have to pull this out. Okay, someone's coming. All right. Apparently we got to swing first. I don't want to swing just in case. It kind of looked like D from the distance there, but at the same time... I guess we're going to have to swing first. Mama, watch over me. I guess we're going to have to swing first or okay. we're going to die. So, stay calm. Find a weapon. There we go. All right, let's swing for the fences. Run! B B Bonnie. Oh, we did a number on her. Oh God! Oh God! I'm so sorry. Oh God! Why? You? Why? Do? Do? Do I love you? How bad is it? Oh, it's bad. Don't you say anything. You, you should have said something. You, you did this. Oh, God, you killed me. You, you killed me. You know, you really should have said something instead of just rounding the corner like that. Trusted you. Just, just a junkie. <laughs> Leland. I didn't mean to do this, Dee. I swear to God, I didn't mean to. You... You love him. I've I seen him. Look at you. I... I... No, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. You... Mary, you wanted him. Didn't... Thank you. Help the stones. Dee, I would never... I swear, this has nothing to do with him. It was an accident. You fucking junkie. <laughs> well, D, D, did you find her? Oh, we found her, all right. I thought they got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? Yep, and uh, don't take a look at D. D. God, what happened? Lord Bonnie, what happened? Well, you see. Darling, what happened to you? I, I don't know. I, I found her like this. How did this happen? Why didn't you wait for me? Come on. She deserves a proper burial. We can't just leave her here in a fucking cornfield. Well, are you carrying her? Because I can't. Help me move her. Bonnie, please. We can't take her with us. What if she turns into one of them things? She won't do that. Leland. Keep moving. We gotta be closing in. Okay. God, okay. God, hope. You got anything to say to her? Leland, I'm here for you. No, not now. I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. Call out if you this see way. Him. We can't stay here forever. I think I saw something over here. Die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. Oh, he's taking the bag. What was in the bag? 
Well, one thing's for sure. She's gone. Alright, well, that's Bonnie's story. Um, that was pretty rough. I swear that was not on purpose what we just did to D. I mean, things happen. Alright, now we're down to the last one, Shell. Last one of our uh, people here in the 400 Days storyline. Let me know what you guys think of this so far. Yeah, at least we're getting some music. Just like Chuck. R.I.P. Hopefully she has a better fate than he did. Michelle, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. <laughs> yeah. You know, the How apocalypse. You this? What do you think that does to a kid? Can't be good. I don't know. I know it's changed me, well, all of us, but at this age, for her, I don't know. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Everybody give a round of applause to her. That was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? No, well, we could try. That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. <laughs> all right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Okay. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure oh, they got watchdogs? Okay. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Did you ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be anything these days, though. I'm Still, sure it's those people that Nate about. killed. That's my guess. Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. Huh. Looks like something should be on that wall, but it's not. Here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. Oh, okay. Guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. I was going to say, I was like, something looks like it should be there. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Alright. Just wanted to... What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. Alright, well, I guess we're not needed here. We'll go, uh... 
have a word with Roman here in a second. First off, can I go back here? No? Okay. I thought it looked like I could go back here, but guess not. Yeah, like something pops up there. Oh, crap. I told Roman I'd see what she got a hold of. All right. Guess we're going through here first. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. <laughs> God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Oh, that would suck not being able to have coffee at all. This hasn't worked in a long time. I love me some coffee. Smells good. Make it look like we're helping. A quick stir. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Yep, that's probably a good idea. Employees only. I don't know if we should be back here. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. Definitely a good idea. Oh, God. Me. He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. These are, uh, watchdogs? It's disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Yeah, she doesn't need to be... I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best. It's really not. I know, I just want her to have a little more time to be a kid. Yeah, ease into this she kind of stuff. Protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. I think has an option to talk to the walker. That looks like the uh, prison guard that was on the front of the bus who uh, took off running once his partner was being a dumbass and shot the uh, dude on the bus, blew the one dude's head off, and got himself eaten. Oh, God. <sighs> Is that the... Uh... Oh, no. Looks like she's eating a dog. But, uh... I'm almost positive that that uh, woman back there is the old woman from the uh, place there at the beginning with Russell and Nate. Well, not the beginning, but previous episode. <laughs> wow! Oh, don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... It was so little. That is you rough. Don't think about babies anymore, but poor puppy. After a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah, I guess you kind of forget, <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and and now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Wow! Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! Oh, what is great. It? Now what? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Is there a hostile? 
We got a uh, situation here. We can handle it. Go feed them to the uh, watchdogs. Right, let's see what we're walking into here. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. Miss Mop. It's so okay to be dead. Jeez. What's going on? My God, what did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. What did he take? Food, medicine, whatever he could get his hands on. Usual stuff. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck the in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. The last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Is that what D stole, I wonder? I don't know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on but his what way. what if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger if group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you exactly. think you've seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. Not necessarily. You have a point. I don't know. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost three. And then Vernon with that goddamn... Oh, oh you're with Vernon. Bree and Vernon! ...are the reason the group fell apart. Not you bitch. Strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Oh. Jesus Christ. Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. Well, I mean, we can't just let him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Well, I mean, we can't just let him go. You two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? Why am I the swing vote? Well, I mean, we can't just set him free. This is what we have to do. I mean, that's out of the question. What if he comes back with weapons or exactly? Is it worth losing any one of us? Jesus. There really is no other choice, is there? I mean, if we let him go, he knows where our stuff is, and he knows what we have, so he could come back and attack. And he might be part of a larger group, too. If we do this, we're all in it together. If this ever happens again, it's going to be one of you pulling that trigger. Alright. I mean, that's a tough decision to make, but it's like, I don't feel comfortable letting him go because what if he is part of a larger yeah, group? And plus he already knows what we have, he might come back and try and steal again nope. or hurt somebody. So, I, again, it, it's tough. It's like, I don't like just offing a dude like that, but at the same time, I'm not sure what else you can do in that situation. That's safe for the group. We do that anymore? After we had to kill that guy, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I wish things were still like they used to be. Well, Roman's too focused. Don't we all? Sure no one's able to break in again. You know that's impossible, right? Exactly. Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then I should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, 
Are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow ass walkers. What are you talking about? And We've also had two people. Already. <laughs> Anyone could be out Somebody there. like what Nate could be out there. there. Follows you back here. They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. Oh, great. Now Open. what? What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. You can't tell me now? We can talk here. No. Just finish up here and come find me. Don't take too long. What was that okay. about? Maybe he found out about the boards? Shit. You think so? If he did, I won't say anything. But you better stay away from there for a while. Okay. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Now let's go find out what he, uh, what he wants. <laughs> Getting dirty looks now from the people who disagreed with us. There's the blood stain, one of many in this lot, from where uh, I killed that guy who broke in. shouldn't have done it I mean he didn't again I don't know what other choice we had in that situation hey shell it's Stephanie what what Roman's got her locked up like some kind of animal why she was trying to escape they actually used that word escape Boyd, calm down I knew something like this was going to happen shell I said if we killed that man, we were heading down a dangerous path. And now look where we are. I'm gonna go talk to Roman. No, no, just take Becca and get out of here. You know I can't do that. Things are good here. We just have to stick together and follow the rules. Just don't do anything stupid. What happened? What does he mean she tried to escape? Okay, uh... This hey, does not seem Stephanie. good. Why did she have to do that? We're safe here. There's no reason to want to leave. I'm sure she had her reasons. I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. I know this is weird. So she just... What do you mean she tried to leave? Did she steal stuff and leave? Or did she just leave? Or try to leave, I should say. Guessing this is where they're holding her. Necessary. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know I think you know what she I don't think I think you know what he's gonna do. We caught her trying to escape. Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows Wait, she was trying to are. steal the supplies then, too? Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Oh, uh, last time he said he wasn't going to be the one to pull the trigger. So he wants us to do it. You said that next time it'd have to be one of us. You went along with it last time. You weren't convinced it was the right thing to do. Now I need to know that you're with us. 100%. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. We give her a second chance. She might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. 
Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Okay, well, now this puts us in an awkward spot. Did we just kill her? Or What's can we get on? out of it somehow? Am I in trouble? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be our last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Becca. Roman wants me going to cold it. here, cold blooded. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there in the drawer. Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't. Just want to get it over with. Wait, we got keys and a gun. What happens if we take the keys? You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know, longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Sure about that? I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Fine. Go ahead. All right, Becca, you want to do it? Do it. No. Roman said he wants you to do it. I'll do it when it's my turn. Oh, now your tone changes. Yeah, it does. Shell. Time. All right, what do we do? Do we take the gun? Do we do it? Or do we take the keys? Why are you just standing there? Screw it! What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Hey! Shell! Hey! See ya! I was for killing the other dude. He was a stranger and we didn't know if he was going to bring anyone back or come back or anything like that, but... Stephanie was one of our own, and it felt just kind of awkward just go in there and kill her without giving her a chance to, like, like to, to talk about it or without, like, getting a chance to talk to her, ask her why she did it, what this was all about and everything. I mean, we at least owed her some kind of a trial. I mean, we're just, we weren't just going to go in there and just shoot her. Given she was one of our own. So I felt like it was best to just turn and leave. Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm going to try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best. So it looks like... This woman's part of a larger group, and they're obviously in communication. They got radios and stuff, and she's got a vehicle. So they're obviously part of a larger group. And she just read, I'm assuming the note they left is probably like their stories and everything. So that's what she probably just did, what we just played, were like all their uh, stories, what she read, like what she found out. So. I don't know who this group is she belongs to, but they must have some supplies if she's able to be driving around and has a radio. Everything okay? So far, so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into 
anything, just get as many of them as you can. Alright, sounds like a plan. You got it. Hey, don't you bit. Hey, 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 hey. Fucking move. Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. Tavia? How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because she says it's true doesn't mean it is. You should know about that. Uh -uh. At least what I did was an accident. Hey, that's enough. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought, you know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. True. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Why? Look, we need people. Uh, I don't know that Eddie survived. Folks can decide if you want to come as a that Nate dude probably up, killed him. Whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Well, I'm going. Maybe we should go too, sis. If Roman is still looking for us, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there. There's no way that guy is still looking for you. We've been to that truck stop. There's no one left. Roman's not a problem. It's following her that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, <laughs> but what else is there? If you guys are going, then so are we. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, then why do raccoons? <laughs> Oasis <laughs> raccoons is kind of funny. What if they want to kill us? Raccoons. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? You clearly outnumber me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. Ain't All that I'm the truth? Is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. I mean, she sounds pretty reasonable. So, who wants to come with me? And obviously, she's part of a larger group that has supplies. Uh, looks like Bonnie is joining. Yeah. I'm going. Vince? Yeah. I have to. Wyatt, we got three. Michelle? Rebecca? Makes five. I'm, Come on, Russell. I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. Some of you may have been separated from friends or family. It's a long shot, but there's a chance you could find them there. Have your people been through Statesboro? Yes, I think we have. Okay, but I swear to God, if you try anything, you're gonna regret it. We'll do everything we can to help you find your friends and family. But understand that I can't promise anything. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. I think we convinced them all to come well, along. I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? Looks like they're gonna burn them. Burn this the memories. Is a thing. I know it is. All right. Hopefully. <laughs> How do we know this will work out? You don't. <laughs> I 
What's the alternative? Staying out here? I mean, she's giving you a, a choice. I, to me, I think uh, it's smart to go with her in this instance, even though you don't know where she's taking you, because face it, you're alone, you're scavenging for supplies, you don't know uh, if you're going to find any more supplies, and obviously it looks like they have stuff. I mean, if she's driving around a vehicle, she's on the radio with people, she's in communication obviously with a larger group, she doesn't appear to be hurting for supplies, she looks clean, so obviously has access to running water, I would assume. Uh, and clean clothes and everything so it just seems to me like it's better than just staying out here in your own in my opinion but uh anyway let's take a look at the stats for our episode how they compare with other people and 30% chose to shoot Danny's foot off and 70% didn't so I felt like since he was closest to the door, it was easier to cut him loose. I mean, either way, we're in the middle, so we're either going to have to shoot the dude who's closest to the door, or we're going to shoot the dude who's closest to the exit. And to me, I didn't want to have to climb over a dude to get out, I'd rather just shoot the dude, leave him lay, and then we leave. So that was the rationale for why we did it to Danny. Like I said, the other dude was at the back by the door. I figure him and I would be easier to escape, whereas if we shoot the dude in the back, then we have to try to climb over him. Makes it even more awkward, and to me, I don't know. It just That just felt like the better thing to do. And then 50-50. This was a weird percentage. Rare to see something be like 50-50. Uh, 50% chose to stay in the car, and that ultimately comes down to if you win the rock, paper, scissors or not. See, that? I think that's the first I've ever actually won that, because the last couple times I tried this, uh, both times I ended up having to go out into the fog, and Eddie took off without me. So, uh, in that instance, I actually got to stay in the car. So that's funny, though, that this is 50-50. And then 75% of us chose to leave Nate. I mean, that was kind of a no-brainer, especially when he pulled that whole, we're just going to kill him and take all of our stuff line that Russell had literally just talked about, like, this is what this dude would say, and he was scary and all this shit, and you opened up to him, and then Nate chose to be like that. So, yeah, I, I, I didn't think it was good to stay there. In fact, I think if we did stay with him, we probably would have turned into something similar to him, and we didn't want that. 75% <laughs> chose to lie to Leland. In that, in that situation, it was one of those deals where like, I, I feared that if we would have said what we did, he may have been pissed and not wanted to help us. And in that instance, Bonnie needed medical attention. She'd just been shot and she needed assistance of some sort so yeah I don't think telling Leland yeah we killed her I don't think that's gonna go over very well and then 75 percent chose to leave in the RV as opposed to shoot Stephanie again that was a tough like the first per person I agreed to kill only because Letting him go just seemed too dangerous to the rest of the group. But given Stephanie was a member of our group, it didn't feel right to just kill her without at least having a chance to talk to her. I, I would have liked to have at least had some words with her to hear her out as to why she left and why she was stealing supplies. Uh, I felt like we owed her that. To just go in and kill her without any explanation just kind of felt wrong in my opinion, and if she was just stealing stuff and wanting to bail on the group, I, I could see them being like, okay, yeah, we're going to kill you, but if she did it like out of fear because she didn't like how Roman was behaving or like all the new 
stuff and like all the new rules and stuff then i get that i get that fear and maybe if we could like talk some sense into her everything could be resolved you know but i just didn't feel it was right to go in and shoot her without having a chance to talk to her first and get an understanding of why she did what she did that's just my opinion but that was the walking dead 400 days dlc and as you can see, it didn't really tie into Season 1, but it's going to tie into Season 2. You're going to uh, see more of them in Season 2, for sure. And look at that. We got everybody to come with us, too. Um, typically, when I've played... Like I said, I think I've played this twice before. And there's always been a... I, I've never been able to get all five. I don't, I don't think. I'm trying to think back. I don't know that I ever got all five to come with. So, that's actually impressive. We got all five to come with on this attempt. So, uh, yeah. You'll be seeing them again in Season 2. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this stream. And for those watching on YouTube, I hope you guys are enjoying this as well. Uh, we'll be back with streaming Season 2. We'll jump into that this weekend. Similar to how we did Season 1. Some Friday and Saturday nights, late at night. And we'll kick off with Season 2, and we continue Clementine's journey. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was Walking Dead 400 Days. Uh, I did like the characters. I thought they, I thought each of their stories were interesting. Uh, I Honestly, I thought Wyatt and Eddie were pretty funny. And, like, some kind of a zombie uh, stoner comedy with those two would have been great. <laughs> like more time with them I think would have been fun and you got a feel for some of these characters here though I mean Vince he kind of put himself in that situation with what he did for his brother and you're on the prison bus with those guys so again he kind of put himself in that spot but uh, it looks like he's trying to redeem himself Shell, you can see, is a conflicted person. I mean, she's trying to help her sister. And, you know, she didn't necessarily be like, yeah, just put a bullet in that dude who was stealing stuff and, and put a bullet in his head. But at the same time, she knew we can't just let him go. And you can tell she's at least a good person. And she tries to do the right thing and tries to set a good example for her sister. And then you had Russell, who... I would say, try. I don't know if he's necessarily the youngest. He looks the youngest of the five that we got to play as. And I'd say he has, uh, he's going to have trust issues now, given the group he was part of and then how Nate treated him. So it's going to take a while probably for him to uh, recover from all this stuff. But he seems to be the youngest and probably tough on him given he's away from his family and has has had all these negative experiences with strangers so far so it's interesting to see him actually leave with the group and then there's bonnie who obviously sounded like was some type of a uh had some type of addiction issues in the past um she had a thing with leland too they never did say what happened to leland uh so i don't know what happened there the others, I mean, Vince said the one dude just left them. And obviously, Becca, uh, Shell's sister, they're still together. And then we know we left Eddie behind. And obviously, Russell left Nate behind. But we don't know what happened with Leland. So I'm not sure. Maybe we'll find out in season two. I can't remember if we do or not. But anyway, Bonnie uh, had the uh, gunshot wound as well. Obviously, that got treat uh, treated. So. Uh, and you have to wonder, too, when they, uh, Shell's group said that there were break-ins before, I think Bonnie, I think D, I should say, stole supplies from them. Before, and uh, that was the first break-in, because I think that was the group that was chasing us in the uh, cornfield there. But uh, anyway, that was a fun DLC, and a kind of like nice little thing to hold you over until Season 2. And in Season 2, we'll be continuing Clementine's journey. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And like I said, we'll jump back into that this weekend. 
and we're going to play through the whole series. Like I said, we're going to do this, then we're going to jump into Season 2, then we're going to do New Frontier, and then the final season, and then as a bonus, we're also going to throw in the three Michonne episodes, too, somewhere along the lines. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, click all the social media links, and follow here on Twitch if you enjoyed as well. And other than that, hope to see you guys in future streams. Thanks for watching.